fishing log. Today we're going to tie this little guy. It's a very, very simple fly pattern. Um, I call it the Walker Stalker. It's just a leech pattern. I wanted a pattern that I could use both with a Euro rod and also with an indicator setup. Uh, a fly that would drop really quick, especially in moving water, uh, and a leech pattern. And I use this on the East Walker River. I've used this here locally on the Merced and tons and tons of success. Um, join me. It's a very simple fly pattern to tie. Uh, they only take a few minutes, uh, but it is so effective. The Walker Stalker. I'm using this Fulling Mill FM5045. Uh, this is a size 10. Um, the bead size that I'm using right here, this depicts, you can even go bigger if you want to uh, fish faster or even deeper water. I'm using a uh, 3 16 speed um, and I'm using hot or burnt orange, hot orange. And um, I love this color. I'm just using a 6 lot fluorescent orange or bright orange. I love the UTC 70, um, they call it burnt orange, flossy stuff, but I, I love orange. And guys, this is a very simple pattern to tie, but so effective. I do put some um, lead on this, or lead-free wraps as well. I'm just using 0 0.025 here with this size. But you can make these smaller. You can make them bigger. Um, but like I said in the um, opening, I wanted a fly that was going to drop really quickly. Especially in some moving water, deep water. And um, if you know me, I like flies that I can tie really quickly and tie, you know, six of them in a matter of minutes, hopefully, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Okay, so what I did, I did about six wraps there, 0.25, and you could glue that in if you like. Just uh, if you have any edges, like that little edge there, just go ahead and get your fingernail, you can wedge that in. And... Um, I'm doing the wraps because I want it to drop quickly. If you don't need it to be as uh, heavy, you can leave the wraps out. Um, now I tie this fly in black and orange, which we're doing here in the video. But you can also tie this, another pattern that I used on the East Walker was this, but olive with a gold bead. And I'll uh, put a photo up of that. It worked really great. And, um, you know, it's just a variation, really, uh, a very, very simple woolly bugger. All right, I'm just using Danville 6 Ot, um bright orange, hot orange, whatever you want to use. And I'll come over the wraps that are lead, are lead free, um, just to kind of get that all settled in. For tail, very simple, I'm just using hot orange, crystal flash. For the version of the olive and gold, I just use regular pearl, but you could use olive, you could use whatever you like, okay? I'll just take two small pieces, that's all you need. I'll tie them right there in the middle. I'll take those other ones back and just pull them right back. I'll take that right to the hook bend, right there. Now come back up. Now I like to lift it up like that to kind of flare them, but when I cut them, I like to cut these about three quarters of the length of the body to about a full body length. But I like to lift them and kind of go at an angle just to kind of give them a little, little taper. And I like to always flare them up like that. And you can see how that kind of just has like a natural like taper to it. Now over that, I'm gonna be putting marabou. And guys, I use a very, very, very small amount of marabou, okay? And when I say small, I'm talking like a little tiny chunk. But you can make it fuller. Um, you can do whatever you like. Now I'll lick it just to kind of work with it. It's a little easier. But I'm gonna do that a little bit longer than the crystal flash, but not much. A couple loose wraps just to kind of trap it. And I'm gonna oh, let me get that out of there. Then I'm gonna come up once again to the hook bend. Right about there. 
not come forward with that. You can always lick this marabou. Get a nice clean cut there, and then I'm gonna wrap all of that in. And you can see I'm building a little taper up towards the front of the fly or the head. And you can see just a little tiny tail. Sometimes I even go thinner than that. The next thing we're using is I'm using medium polar chenille in black. Instead of using a traditional hackle like you would on a woolly bugger, I'm just using this because it's fast. And I'll start right there behind the wrapped wire for the lead. And I'll work that back once again to the hook bend right there or where the barb might be and always pinch your barbs. And then I'll come back up and really lock that in and all those fibers. And I'm gonna do a couple of half hitches right here in the front, just to kind of lock all that in. And this is where our rotary bias is really nice. I'm just gonna take this little piece of chenille, hold it straight up, kind of watch that barb, or excuse me, or the point. And I'm not gonna stroke it back. And I'm just gonna do not quite touching wraps, but all the way to the front. And I'm gonna stop right there. You could do a couple of more turns if you wanted a thicker collar. But I'm gonna do a couple of wraps over this, about three to four. Really lock that in. Then I stroke all this back and then I'm gonna lock it in in the front. And that's pretty much the fly. We're just gonna build up a nice collar here, but before we finish it, I'm gonna trim that tag off. And this is where I take a brush, just a little piece of Velcro, and I'll take that around the body and brush out all those fibers and the chenille. Then I'll stroke all that back. You can even comb it back if you want it to. But then I'll stroke that back so I don't get any fibers going forward. I'm just gonna build up a nice little hot spot collar right behind that bright bead and really build that up so it pops. Oops. I am going to do a four to five turn whip finish right here and really seat that knot. Get it nice and tight, get in there close. That's pretty much your fly. If you have any fibers that you just don't like, cut them out of there, but I want this buggy and this is gonna be pulsating and moving a bunch. Then I just take a little bit of uh, glue. You can use hard as hole, you can use Zappa Gap. I'm just using Flow UV. I don't even put the tip on And guys, I just put two small little daps right on the top of the threads. You can do the entire thing. If you wanted to, I just go on the top or what will be the bottom of the fly. Let it absorb into the threads. Put your torch on there and that's your fly, guys. This is the Walker Stalker, very easy pattern. I've seen, you know, Cheech from fly fish food type patterns like this. A little bit of uh, variation, but not much. Um, you know, simple crystal flash tail, along with some marabou, fuller chenille uh, body, tungsten bead, slotted tungsten bead uh, with a fulling mill size 10 jig hook. Uh, I do tie this in black with the orange bead. I also tie it in olive with a gold bead. I, I meant black with a uh, orange bead, excuse me. But uh, yeah, give it a shot guys. It's a, it's a great fly pattern. I've had a ton of success with it and I'm, um, I've been really, really, really happy with this. Give it a shot.